What's up, people, and happy Halloween. Today, we are going to be talking about some Bubba Hotep coming up for you guys next. <laughs> So Bubba Hotep stars the great Bruce Campbell and Ozzy Davis, and it was directed by John Coscarelli, and it came out in 2003. I've seen a lot of John Coscarelli's work. I generally like it, but I will say that even beyond Phantasm, I feel like Bubba Hotep is his best movie. Now, this all takes place in a retirement home, and Bruce Campbell stars as Elvis. And let me tell you, this guy plays one hell of an Elvis. One hell of an Elvis. I love him as Elvis. He plays Elvis and he plays it very damn well. And he's going to talk like this. He plays a badass Elvis in this movie. And I love it. Love it. And it sets up the mood for this movie. It is going to be so cheesy, but it's going to be so good. And the fact that you don't know if he is the real Elvis or the fake Elvis is, is so damn clever and so damn good. Don Coscarelli really did a great job with the script and leaving clues to what I feel like he believes, but at the same point in time, he wanted to leave this open. You never find out if he is a fake Elvis or an Elvis impersonator or actually Elvis and I feel like that is so cool and his friend John F Kennedy yes this guy thinks he's JFK but he is actually played by Ozzy Davis and this guy is a, a, a very good black actor and he believes that the government dyed his skin this color in order to cover up the fact that JFK is still alive and in a nursing home <laughs> and this all takes place in a nursing home. These guys are old, they're decrepit, and man, just seeing these two interact with each other and the rest of the people in this nursing home is just so much fun. But it is not long until they discover that an ancient Egyptian creature called the Bubba Hotep is preying on the elderly in this nursing home just because of the fact that, hey, people die here every day. So who's going to be suspecting anything? And so who better to take down the Bubba Hotep but Elvis and JFK in a wheelchair and crutches? <laughs> Man, this movie is bug nuts crazy, but it's awesome. This movie takes this core concept of a guy that thinks he's Elvis and a guy that thinks he's JFK and it plays with it and it knows exactly what it wants to be. Every single scene where these two guys go up against the Bubba Hotep, it is so damn playful in the way that they film these action scenes. It is incredible and I love it. The camera is constantly moving during those scenes and it is constantly doing something inventive. And when you see a guy in a wheelchair and a guy in a walker going up against an ancient Egyptian creature and they're actually like, you know, jabbing him with the walker and running him over with the freaking wheelchair, I love it. This is some of the most inventive horror movie fights that you guys will see and it is filmed so damn well and so awesome and even the side characters in this movie are cool especially Kimo Sabi he is awesome in this movie in just like a crazy way he plays like a crazy old dude that walks around with these guns I think he thinks he's like the lone ranger or something and he just walks around and says weird crap asshole 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 as he like pretends to shoot people <laughs> it is insane but funny i laughed i got a good chuckle out of this movie and i got a good chuckle out of kimosabi and when they finally take out kimosabi oh, oh, oh boy you don't want to take out elvis's friends man you don't want to take out elvis's friends because he is going to come after you and that is exactly what they do this movie is so much fun. I, I find myself 
watching it very, very often. And hey, it just came out on Blu-ray last year, so I definitely had to pick this up. I give it a 9 out of 10. This movie is a whole lot of fun and just ridiculous energy. So what's coming up next for the site? I definitely have to review all of my horror Blu-rays for you guys and 4K Blu-rays. That'll be coming up next, and then I'll be getting into Thor Ragnarok. I'll be seeing that this weekend. And after that, I'll definitely be getting into some DC. Leading up to the Justice League, I'll be doing all of the DC films, starting with Man of Steel and leading to the Justice League. You guys want to subscribe so you know when that stuff will come out, man. You know you want to see it. And comment down below. Tell me if you've actually seen this one. This movie is pretty uncommon, but it's very damn good. Let me know what you guys think about it. I thank you all for watching so early on, and I will see all of you next time.